Hi everyone. So we just went over the Army TA policy as well as a brief overview of GoArmyEd.com. At this time, I wanted to go ahead and take the opportunity to kind of walk you through and get you familiarized with the website itself. Uh, that way you can kind of see uh, some of the things that I was pointing out in the presentation. So the website that we were looking at was HTTPS www.goarmyad.com and it will bring you to this main splash page. Right now, um, if you've never used tuition assistance, I would suggest to go ahead and create your Go Army Ed account. So under student, that will bring you there. It's going to ask for some information. Obviously, uh, these things you're going to need to provide in order to create your username and password. Now, if you've had use a uh, username and password before, but you can't remember what it was, again, all you have to do is take a look at this forgot username and password, enter the prompt that it's requesting, and you can also uh, not only go through the website, but you can also go and contact the help desk ticket personnel uh, directly via phone. So if you clicked on the question mark, like I did, you're going to go right here with this Go Army at Help Desk. If you are in the United States, it's best that if you contact the 1 800 817 9990 phone number. Um, they do operate on a certain time, uh, they do have um, hours of operation. And if you take a look at this page right here, it will tell you exactly what those times and dates are. If you are outside of the United States, you can go ahead and take a look at some of the websites and phone numbers right here so that you can get connected with the help desk ticket personnel. If you were in your Go Army Ed account, and like I said, you can create a help desk ticket to get connected with education service advisors, you can go into your Go Army Ed. Again, once you log in, there's a way for you to click that green button and then you're gonna click on this little clipboard right here where it says Great A, a help desk case. This will connect you to your education service office and an education counselor will go ahead and reply to your questions and concerns, whatever you may have as far as requirement goes. So right here, like I said, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, they have a ton of resources that you can utilize. The best thing right now, if, you, if you're looking for schools and you're looking for programs, you just don't know what, what schools are out there that are available, um, earn a degree or credentials, okay? Schools and programs, you click on that one. This was the, uh, the search function that will go ahead and search for all the schools that are approved for tuition assistance or have been approved for tuition assistance and we'll let you know whether or not they're uh, fully integrated or not whether or not they're still approved for ta and so on so again i went through last time and did a Amer uh, search function of american and i just left everything else blank um, this gave me a slew of search results and it, it really helped me kind of take a look at what's available out there so it didn't limit me but if you already know what school you're interested in so let's say for instance academy of art um, click search and that will show you all the schools that are currently approved uh, for tuition assistance. So right here where it says school type soldier, that's the most important part. If it says active on it, that means they're approved for tuition assistance. If it says suspended on it like these, that means they're not, okay? So this one right here, this Academy of Art is approved for tuition assistance, is a regionally accredited school. Um, it is a fri private for-profit school, uh, so you can kind of see some information right there where it's front, where it's at, located at San Francisco, uh, things like that. So let's go back to the search American on it. I can show you what the view button does. So right here again, as in the uh, presentation earlier. I went ahead and did the school type. I sorted it by active. That way all the schools that are approved for tuition assistance are all on um, the main 
page, search page. That way I'm not sifting through all the ones that weren't approved for TA anymore. All right, so let's take a look. So this one is the first one. So clicking on the view button will bring you the school information page. Right here it's gonna show you this address, the phone number, and a link to the school website. TA refund schedule is one of the most important section that I often point out to the soldiers. Um, how to read this section right here, from to refund uh, percentage. So basically what this reads is, zero, from zero to six days, the school will refund 95% of the army tuition assistance back to the army. The 5% they keep is what you, the soldier, will be responsible of paying back. Here, it says from seven days to 20 days after the class has started, they will refund 75% back. The 25% they keep will be the 25% that you will need to pay the army back. From 21 to 34 days after the class has started, they will refund 50% of the Army tuition assistance. The rest, again, will be your sole responsibility of paying the Army back. From the 35th day on all the way to the end, they will not refund any of the money back, which means if you drop or withdraw from the class after that date, you will have to pay the full tuition amount to the Army. Okay. So if you take a look right here, it does give you some information about the tuition cost for their undergrad as well as their graduate semester uh, cost. Uh, right down here gives you an idea of what the degrees that they offer. Now some of the schools uh, may have new degree programs that are advertised on their website but not advertised in the goramia.com. That doesn't mean they're not approved for Army TA usage, it just means that the school hasn't updated our, our database, basically. So if the school is offering it and the school is an approved, uh, an approved school and is still currently active, like this, then yes, you can utilize tuition assistance towards that degree plan. Now some of these degree plans have uh, a, a link that you can click on and open. It actually opens into a sample degree plan. So if you take a look right here, it gives you the degree requirements, which is great because you can figure out, oh look, I only need 5.94 semester hours of English composition. Um, if you're a great test taker, you can probably clap out of these col uh, college courses. Um, if you already had some history classes that you could transfer over, and you can knock those out. So these section right here, home college, army school, blah, uh, army MOS, test, certificate licenses, distant learning um, information, that means that you could, anything that has an X on it, that means you can actually transfer, you can complete the requirement, uh, with the home college, which in this case, I believe is the American Intercontinental University Army School. So some of your military training actually could be submitted towards college credits. So if you've taken a writing class with your uh, Army training, you can actually submit your joint service transcript and, uh, and get this requirement right here taken care of. So this degree plan right here gives you a great visual of what kind of classes that they are expecting for you to complete. Now you can go to the school website, take a look at the course catalog, and take a look at the course description to see whether or not it's something that you're interested in, okay? So a lot of the times uh, students come in and say, I want to be in a business administration. And then they, get, they take one or two classes in the business uh, field and find that it's not for them. So if you do some research beforehand, you can actually take a look at some of the requirements and go to the school website and take a look at the course descriptions um, to see whether or not it's going to be the right fit for you. So before you even step into the classroom, before you even register for a class, you can actually do some research, take a look at the course description, see whether or not it's something that you're interested in. Alright, so 
At this time, we're actually going to take a look at search degree function. And again, this is going to go all uh, search for schools and programs that are fully integrated in our database. So right here is this program community. As you can see, there's many different communities that you can choose from. So let's say, for instance, I want to go into hospitality and I want to see if there's an associate's degree somewhere out there. You can also look into the college state. So if you prefer going in person locally, you can actually select your, your state. Or if you're just like me, prefer online studies, then you can certainly leave that blank and just do the two sections that I did and click find degrees. As you can see here, it listed all the colleges that has the associates in hospitality management, um, and, ooh, restaurant management, uh, hospitality, culinary management. So there's a lot of schools that are offering associates degree plan. So let me take a look at, where's one that I can click open? So let's take a look at this one. Uh, Central Texas College Associates of Applied Sciences in Hospitality Management, Food and Beverage Management Specialist. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So again, right here, gives you an overview of the degree plan, what requirements. Now, um, some, of, some of you are asking, wait a minute, it only says three to four semester hours over here, but there's a lot of classes that they listed. Uh, what this basically means is that you can pick from any one of these classes to complete that requirement. So if you are interested in learning a language, say French, that will go ahead and take care of that requirement. Uh, if you are more into, let's say, history, um, theater, there's art history, there's cultural anthropology, there's many different classes that you can look at to complete this requirement, basically. So right here it says speech, it says three semester hours, so they give you two classes that you can pick from. So you can do business and professional communication or public speaking. So whichever one you pick will satisfy this three semester requirement. So right here where it says major requirement, 41 semester hours, again, there's a lot of classes here that you can choose from. Um, you can choose any one of these where it says internship, hospitality, or a final project. So uh, on this one, you can either use this one or this one. If you have any questions about the degree programs that they have. As you can see, they do have a point of contact that you can uh, go ahead and send an email to. And if you have any questions, you can go to the school website, look at their course catalog. And again, if you just have a little bit more inquiries about the program itself, give the admission advisor a call and they can go ahead and help you out with all the questions that you have. So at this time, this is goarmyed.com search function that we have covered in the presentation. Next time, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the programs and services as well as resources that are available in the Goarmy Ed portal that you can utilize for free. Um, so if you have any questions about the portal itself, can certainly stop by your education service office, contact the help desk, or contact your education counselors via phone or email, and we can go ahead and take care of you. Thanks again for watching.